finally had some rain. The air feels so clean and fresh. A little bit overcast today, but you can hear the birds. They're absolutely loving it. So my job for today is to add another string to these peas. As you can see there, particularly at the back, these peas are growing quite a bit taller than the string. It's a variety called Telephone Pea. Uh, they get quite tall apparently, so we've put these posts in um, and we're just attaching a bit of string so that they can uh, attach themselves to that string uh, as they grow taller. So um, I'll put that string on and then I'll put the camera back on to show you what it looks like. I've added this string here on, just uh, using a few simple knots on, on both sides. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go along and just make sure all the peas are guided towards those strings. So particularly here at the back, Got some that are growing a bit taller and you can see their little tentacles are attached to some of them so that's fine I'm just checking there that they can reach it if they need to that's good that's good so some a bit smaller some a bit taller that's fine there's another two rows so I'm gonna do the same thing on this on the second two rows here because on those I've only got uh, three strings and you can see at the bottom I've got these are guide strings these bottom ones and they when the piece was small they were just guiding the piece towards the middle I got this idea from Charles Charles Dowding so uh, check out his his video on peace and he talks about it in quite a lot of detail Today's harvest includes this amazing rainbow chart. You see all the different colours and the stems, they are so lovely. And then in the basket I have the perennial nine star broccoli, which is like a cauliflower. I've got some lettuce leaves. I've got some purple sprouting broccoli, a couple of leeks and a few chives with the beautiful flowers on. So, not bad for Hungry Gap harvest, I would say.